Hi everyone, I'm BJ Allman of Monarch 7, and this is my video log for the 19th of October. It's original week, sharing some of my original tunes with you. Um, seven of them. <laughs> it's retarded. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's that. What else? Got a show opening tonight, preview is tonight free uh it's not free anymore it's four dollars it's practically free four dollars doesn't get you shit um except a show so come see it starts at like seven fifteen. so why not why not be there you know what i mean um yeah expecting the phone to ring any minute with somebody arriving with a refrigerator we'll see if that interrupts the music if so i'll just start over and you'll never know what happened it's the magic of film it's the ma movie magic uh, what else? Got a call this morning with an offer to play at the whiskey. The, the legendary, the, the landmark whiskey. I need a bassist. Shit. Um, da, 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 da. what else? That's about it. I guess everybody's on their way home from Oregon. All my peeps. My Altanito folks, uh, a bunch of them anyway. That's cool. Excited about that. It'd be nice to have uh, have them back, hanging out and such. Uh, huge audition tomorrow. Huge. It's for a pilot. Um, I feel really good about this one. Um, they want me to sing uh, Still the One. Well, that one, still the one, that one from the 70s, and uh, today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you, by now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do, um, with a little bit more focus than that, and it's got a context, so it's like kind of sad. It's all heartbreaking at the end. There it is. There's the phone call. It wasn't even in the fridge. Oh, just I get a lot of crappy calls. Don't ever live in a place with a business line. People hound business lines. It's unbelievable. It's a place of business, people. Get your shh. Anyway, uh, this is a song I wrote uh, that's sort of based on this time that I walked across the country to protest apathy and no one cared. The song is called Follow My Heart.
I like that one. That one feels like a Neil Young jam. Because it's just like driving. Um, yeah, then I rock out like that. Nice. Um, what else? That's it. That's it. My sister comes in like six days. I'm super excited. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to have her around again. It's been like a year. It's weird. It feels like she's always here. Um, it could be this though. It could be like the vlog. I feel like we stay connected. She's still volunteering me for American Idol. Why not? Anyway, uh, I love you guys. Happy birthday to everybody who's having a birthday today. A lot of my favorite people on this planet have a birthday this week. It's really, I kind of love Facebook for like reaffirming my astrological theories because it's, you never really notice until you, until you do, you know, and it sort of puts it all in one place and you're like, wow, really? All those people born in the same week? <laughs> it's hardly coincidence. Seriously, like most of my favorite people. I'm not going to list them because, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because if you weren't born in this week, then you might take offense anyway. That's your own prerogative. All people are my favorite people. Eh? I should go into politics. Speaking of politics, politics is stupid. Are stupid? Is, are, it doesn't matter. The entire uh, tradition of political rivalry and silliness. Oh, I want to run for president or senate or something and just get a giant hand, like a giant foam hand, and just go around bitch slapping politicians. Just whenever they say something that is completely untrue, uh, and also on the news, like just go and volunteer to do news interviews with people who've spoken an untruth and just bitch slap them with my giant foam hand. <laughs> I would love that. Could we do that? Is there, does anyone know? Is there a way, could we, could we get a giant foam hand for a bunch of people to just go around bitch slapping people who say things that are nonsense? Like it's the Obama administration's fault. Unemployment and the economy. Totally the Obama administration's fault. That's like blaming the depression on FDR. It's fucking absurd. Uh, I don't know how much they've done to fix it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not defending that group of idiots. They're a group of idiots also that need a bitch slap. Hope and change. Good job. Um, oi. I'm tired of it. Sarah Palin. Still waiting for the punchline on that joke. Jeez. All right. That's it. That's enough for me. I love you guys. Live light. Which means try to avoid politics. <laughs> it's heavy, boy.